So just go ahead and settle back, get yourself comfortable, and perhaps just allow the eyes to close in a way that brings just a little more bit of comfort. And now I'm going to talk to you for a while. All you have to do is listen to what I'm saying. Allow yourself to have as pleasant an experience as you know how. Maybe even when images are brought up or suggested, just gently voting for those images by letting them become real inside, by allowing them to be your experience. And so go ahead and adjust yourself in the most comfortable position you can. Shifting, moving, maybe paying particular attention to, is my head supported? Is the small of my back supported? And remember, you can feel free to make any adjustments at any time to help yourself be comfortable. And this need not interrupt your concentration or ability to maintain a deep state of comfortable relaxation. Go ahead and draw a deep, satisfying breath into your belly and gently hold the breath for as long as it feels comfortable. And now let go. Let's repeat that process again, drawing a deep, satisfying breath in, suspending, pausing, and letting it go. As the breath, so the body. Now allow the whole body to let go and relax allowing all the muscles to go limp. Maybe noticing that the top of your head is now one more step more relaxed and comfortable. Maybe letting that relaxation and comfort spread down into the forehead, your eyes, into your jaw, down the neck, deep, relaxing, and comfortably heavy, or maybe just feeling so comfortably lighter. Letting your neck release too. Letting this flow into your shoulders, deep, warm, and heavy. Each breath now can feel like a warm wave swirling through the areas of your body, or perhaps like the comfortable feeling of when a hot, moist rag is placed over the eyes, first feeling the heat, but then feeling the muscles around the eyes releasing, sinking deeper and deeper the longer that cloth is there or that wave washes down and over. The eyes relaxing more and more as all those little muscles around release till it begins to flow into the muscles behind the eyes. Deep, relaxing, letting go more and more, comfortably releasing, perhaps so heavy with relief, or oh, so light with letting go. And those sensations too, building in and around the eyes, flowing down through the body to wherever 
they are needed. Down the neck, letting your neck go. Into your shoulders, deep and warm and releasing. Down, heavy down into the right arm. Down into the right hand. And now, the left arm. The left hand. The release and letting go and comfort spreading down now into the chest. Relaxation flowing down into the chest. And lower. Into the back between the shoulder blades. And lower. Noting perhaps how it can flow down into the heart, down into the pancreas, down into the lungs, the stomach, flowing down the chest towards your belly button, flowing down the back between the shoulder blades, all the way down your spine to the lower back. Maybe even a sense of warmth growing in your stomach. Comfortable warmth. Swirling its way down. Like that sensation that comes on a very cold day of sipping a hot cocoa. Feeling that wonderful feeling in the mouth as the chocolate coats the tongue. And the warmth flowing down the throat. Just seeming to warm your whole body from the inside out. Into the stomach. The warmth flowing down into the intestines. Flowing down in to the hips now. That relaxation spreading down into the right leg and right foot. Down into the left leg and left foot. Swirling around the pelvis, feeling the pelvic muscles releasing, shifting, warming, becoming more and more flexible, more and more comfortable, more and more relaxed. Not a care in the world. Perhaps noticing something even more. A sense of security and peace in the pelvis, in the hips, in the lower back, in the lower stomach. This sense of, ah, that sense that comes from taking a deep breath, looking around and knowing at least in this moment, all is well. And you can feel that here in the pelvis, flowing down the sense of security, of knowing all is well, of not having a care in the world at this moment, flowing down into both legs, flowing through your organs, flowing down from the eyes and the head and the top of the scalp, flowing down each and every breath, the entire body now very, very relaxed, deep, comfortable relaxation, not a care in the world. 
You may even begin to notice the sense of lightness and drifting, so easy and effortless. And in a moment, I will count from one to five. With each number I count, you can find yourself becoming deeper and deeper relaxed. The greater the number, the deeper relaxed. Nothing you need to do, just give it permission and it will happen. And the number five being a signal to your brain, your thoughts, your mind to become profoundly comfortable as well. So let's begin now. One, starting to focus more on your comfort. You might already be noticing a sense of warmth or heaviness spreading into each and every muscle as the muscles let go more. Two, one level deeper comfort. Three, that's right. Letting any noises or sounds just help you realize how you now are doing your job taking care of yourself even as the world goes about their world. Each and every sound, experience, and sensation can help you go even deeper into the important work here now. Three, deeper into yourself, focusing more and more on the sound of my voice, understanding the words, voting for the emotions and comforts that flow from them. Four, so completely absorbed in this moment. Even though you might notice the body becoming heavier and heavier, even if you might notice the thoughts flow up and down and out, you might also choose to notice that growing sensation of floating, enjoying a sense of weightlessness, drifting, floating. Five, you are there, as relaxed as just is right for you right now. Deeply, comfortably, and profoundly choosing relaxation. And with this choice, that growing sense of floating, and that growing sense of peace and security. As you enjoy your profound state of relaxation, perhaps drifting to a favorite place or image, I will be talking to a special part of your brain about how your brain works. You can listen if that feels right for you. And in so doing, you may notice it is so effortless to absorb this. Or you can focus on anything that is of comfort to you right now. Any part of you that is experiencing pleasant sensations. The special deep part of your brain that can internalize this information will effortlessly absorb everything it needs, like moss on a forest floor or a cottage roof or a soft meadow. Wouldn't it be interesting if this deep part of your brain could reveal a model of how your brain works. Some image of great power and wisdom, perhaps. Some people might see this in terms of switches that turn on and off. Others might see it as terms of lights 
could also be waves, a control center, or a whole lot of bright lights like stars in the sky. Anything that comes to mind for you that represents your brain. What might be helpful to you is for you to use this model to understand how your brain creates what you feel, not the outside world. How your brain creates what you feel. The brain, the control center, or lights or waves, are responsive to signals and sensations that come in from the outside. This we know. They might be sensations of comfort, warmth, coolness, relaxation, whatever sensations are most comfortable for you now. And we know that the brain is also designed to respond to warning signals when we perceive a threat. In this way, it can keep us safe and take good care of us. It is also practical and makes great sense. If we see that we are about to be attacked by a tiger, it is a very good thing for our brains to tell us that we are in danger. We can then respond in a way that will keep us safe. We can respond. We can choose a way that will keep us safe. Not just a way of responding to the threat, but a way of making us safer here, now, and in the long run. That is the best of best signals. The problem, and this is a prop, common problem with chronic sensations, is that our brains sometimes react as if there is a threat when there is no longer a threat there. Where there might have been a threat in the past and it kept us safe once, now it continues to try to keep us safe even when we are not in danger. Sometimes our brain reacts as if there were a threat when there is no threat anymore. It can even create a sensation of panic or fear or pain or sadness when there is, in truth, no longer any real threat to our body. We know that car alarms are useful for the rare occasion when a burglar is breaking into our car. We also know that if a car alarm that continues to go off for no reason is irritating and can wake us and the neighbors up at night. Or a light outside might go on when it detects something that is not a person. It seems like the light can go on at random times and so stops being useful. A great tool in the past, not always useful. So it is very useful for our brains to be able to determine over time what signals are current threats and which ones are not. Which signals are a signal for sensitivity and awareness? And which signals are a signal for action now? Because there is no need to take action on a signal meant to alert. And there is no need to alert on a signal that's just a notice. For the signals that are no longer threatening, for sensations that have become chronic and no longer serve a protective function, it becomes very useful for us to learn how to dim those signals, to put them in the background, fade to the back until it's time to pay attention. 
we might do that by picturing in our mind that we have a dimmer switch. When we turn it down, maybe from a seven and a half to a five, to a four, to a three, or a two, the noise and sense of threat become less. Similarly, we may quickly learn to understand when sensations are no longer helpful. It becomes easier to choose to put them in the background, to be able to ignore them for now, because we know that they are just chronic noise and no longer signal anything useful. Perhaps now you can look into your own brain and see how you might dim those signals. Maybe turning the dimmer switch down. Maybe the waves become calmer and calmer. Maybe the pulsing becomes a gentle touch instead. Or perhaps certain lights becoming dimmer. Or perhaps you notice that these are signals that need a brief nod of recognition. Like calling in a Roger or a reassurance of safety, like small children or pets that don't need your full attention, just a nod or a rub on the head to remind that you know they are there and that they are free to go do their own thing without your attention. Or perhaps the signal feels like it is coming from outside the house. And as you shut the windows, the signal pleasantly fades from your awareness. Anyway, you picture this is just fine. And in this pause we are about to take, you can find your brain and mind finding even more creative ways to work on improving this ability to notice and not notice, to recognize and set aside, to dim the unnecessary alerts, to reprogram alerts to be notices, and notices just to be letters to be read and enjoyed at pleasure, at the best later time. In a little while, we are going to begin the process of ending today's journey. However, before we start, I would like to give you 15 seconds of silence for you to give yourself any images or suggestions or experiences that you would like to have that help your brain, your mind, your body learn to re-regulate the signals of pressure or intrusion or threat to their proper levels. so that you don't need to have a body that overreacts. It can move to reacting. And then you can take a body that is reacting and move it to you being able to respond rather than react. So allow to rise up and fill your mind any suggestions or experiences that you would like to have and would help your mind accomplish this deep level of integration of mind and body into that feeling of peace and comfort and joy rather than that feeling 
of threat from the past. Fifteen seconds, starting now. And now we have reached the time to extend what has been most useful for you in this session into the rest of your day, into your life, knowing that these will continue to percolate even tonight while you sleep, finding new ways to bring all parts of you into this new way of moving forward with peace and comfort. Just the right amount so that at any time in the future, any time you notice these old signals or sensations, perhaps the pressure behind the eye or the itch in the nose, I invite you to notice how easily it can move right past you. It may feel as though time will pass more quickly when you are uncomfortable, like leaves that were once in a still pile being pushed gently along with a wind, or snow melting quickly with the sudden emergence of the warmth of the sun, or water draining quickly once the plug is pulled. That somehow time or the natural things around you are hastening the retreat and departure of any signals that are not currently useful to you, just falling away, shrinking, moving past, disappearing from your view and perception, so hard to even remember or forget to remember if you remember to forget. Any time you want to feel more comfortable, to allow yourself to again experience the benefits of today's session, all you ever have to do is take a deep breath, a very satisfying breath, hold it, and then let go. Any of the comfortable feelings and benefits, any helpful resources that you have created for yourself in this session and will create tonight, tomorrow, and the next night in your sleep, they will come washing over you naturally, easily, and automatically. Your mind will be able to use these skills automatically. You won't have to work hard to remember. They will just come to you so that you can create comfort and relaxation, an inner strength, a sense of peace in your hips and lower back, and a sense of calm in mind whenever you need it. And the benefits you create for yourself, these benefits can linger and last beyond the sessions, for minutes, hours, days, and years, becoming a permanent part of your comfort. And these benefits will last for as long as they continue to be helpful. And now we're going to begin the piece, the process of bringing this piece back into your fully alert state. I want you to remember that the process does not stop at the point you find your eyes opening. In fact, the suggestions that you find helpful will continue to unfold in your mind long after our session is over. Now, Getting ready to return, you are looking at the number five in front of you. And in a moment, I'm going to start counting with you as we move back into a state of alertness from five to one. With each number I count, you will feel more alert 
awake and refreshed. No hurry. We have plenty of time. You do not need to come back to a full state of alertness until you are ready. When we reach one at the top, your eyes will maybe remain closed for a little longer, but you will feel that alertness flowing in, invigorating, like a nice refreshing breath in. And so we can do that now, five. Perhaps see the number right in front of you. Four, slowly going upward, more and more alert, more and more refreshed. Three, even more awake, perhaps slowly beginning to move your arms and legs. Two, picturing the room around you, what it looks like, the colors on the walls and ceiling, the texture and the carpet chairs, more and more alert, feeling profoundly relaxed, but alert and refreshed, perhaps even energized, almost there. And when we reach that final number, your eyes will stay the way they are as you continue to grow more and more alert. If they're closed, you might find they just have the urge to pop open and engage in life. And now, one, just setting your pace, perhaps taking your hands and rubbing them together just to get the blood flowing. Big breath in, out, letting yourself be fully awake, alert, and energized, able to use anything that you learned in the session the things that are going to be useful from this experience. Welcome 